First of all, the grease is loaded onto the bottom plate. Then the circular disc, called the cone, is lowered down towards the plate. The distance between the cone and the plate is set to 0.15 mm. The excess grease is removed. The cone can either be rotated or set to oscillate at a known speed. The test parameters are inputted into the computer. The nature of the test allows different aspects of a greaser's properties to be studied. The amount of force required to turn the cone is measured. This allows the greaser's viscosity to be calculated. Data points are quickly gathered. A graph of viscosity between 25 degrees Celsius and 200 degrees Celsius will eventually be created.